agility challenge. Don't lose the first one. guys capper here welcome back welcome to our homestead on a beautiful winter day and welcome to today's video today's video is going to be my 200 hour review on our rx 7320 it is our second coyote tractor but before we get into it i have to mention the sponsor of today's video which is coyote tractor and we appreciate that i've had this for a couple of years now prior to that i had an nx 6010 i've used quite a lot of implements Anyways, let's let the tractor talk and then I'll give you my pros and cons on it towards the end. All right, let's get rolling. All right, let's take a little better look at some of the uses in the field that we've used the tractor for over the last three years. We utilize the loader on a regular basis and of course the three point for implements in the back and of course the PTO. So. Let's do that and I'll show you all the options it came with quick and then I'll get into my review for the last 200 hours or so. I set up my tractor in a very specific way. I made sure I got ag tires. I loaded the tires um, with rim guard for extra traction and power. I added either one or two rear SCVs for a total of three. I don't recall if it came with one standard or two. It is nice to have three SCVs. I've I've used them all at one time before depending on what implement you have and also if you have a top link or a tilt link you're going to need rear SCVs for that. And I also made sure that one of the three SCVs had a detent on it which basically locks open the hydraulic flow for implements like log splitters and tree spades that need a constant hydraulic flow. One of the things that I like about the RX, well actually one of the many things that I like, is a shift on the fly. It's got a basically an electronic clutch over here on your shift lever so you don't even need to clutch. You know when you're cruising you just push that button and up, up shift or down shift to your next gear. I added a radio. I think I may have added the rear windshield wiper if it wasn't standard. And I also had them add a third function kit on the loader so that I could operate a four in one bucket, which I usually leave on the tractor all the time. The four in one bucket is a great tool to add to your Coyote. Uh, I use it more than I thought I would in the RX handles it just fine. I mean, I pick up big trees like this and save myself a lot of back labor by using the RX and letting the tractor do the work. So let's start with the power of the machine. Um, it is definitely a very powerful tractor. It's actually the fifth tractor that I have owned and uh, I've asked some things of it that probably normally don't get asked of for a tractor, um, but it is a great utility tractor. There is nothing that I've tried to do with it that it could not do and I do tend to push the envelope sometimes but as far as power it has plenty of power to spare plenty of lifting power on the loader plenty of PTO power to run pretty much anything it'll run a 12 foot bat wing it'll run a 15 foot bat wing no problem I also use a six foot brush mower for tighter spaces like clearing our trails and things like that and the cab the heat and the air all work fine I've had it out in you know super Super hot and humid weather and the AC works just fine no matter how hot it is I've also had it out in the winter time and the heat and the defrost works very good as well really the only problem I've had with it and it was more operator error in hindsight but one of the first times I was bush hogging with it it was uh, it was wanting to shut down it, it, it limited the power and that's because it hadn't done a regen. You know, this was within its first 50 hours. And so, uh, you know, I called Coyote and they walked me through doing a manual regen out in the field. All right, it's running a regen. Or I had to run it manually, I should say. After that, I had them check it and they checked the computer and everything. And they said, yes, it's working fine, but these newer tractors 
want to run hot and they like running hot and so you got to run them at a little higher rpm so what i was doing in them first 50 hours was kind of a lot of putt putt work if you will around the farm at idle using the foot accelerator so once he told me that from the dealer that there was nothing wrong with it and i started running at a little higher rpms i've never had a problem since then um, with the regions you know that kind of thing but it's been a solid tractor it is very powerful in hindsight i kind of wish i would have went right to this instead of having to learn all them years with different size tractors but a hey, better late than never so i'm glad that i have it so in summary i really enjoy the rx7320 i also enjoyed my nx um, it's been a solid tractor it does everything i needed to do and if you know you know my tractor history you'll know i had several Several different brands and I'm sticking with the Coyote so I hope this helps you if you're shopping for a tractor or if you just enjoyed the video if so I hope you'll join us on the channel and hope to see you again and best of luck if you're tractor shopping thanks a lot